Hidden History is brought to you by G2A.com and our supporters at Patreon. Ancient beyond comprehension and serving as a major deep space power, the Citadel is one of the most iconic locations in all of Mass Effect. Its origins are a matter of some debate, but most agree that the station dates back to before even the Protheans, lending it an air of mystery that probably no other place in the Mass Effect universe has. As any fan of the games know, the Citadel is much more than just a space station. And like most things in the series, Bioware drew from a number of different inspirations when creating it. If you have played the games, you know the unique design of the Citadel includes four long arms, called wards, which serve as the residential centres of the station. What might surprise you is the fact this ward design was actually based on a very real world idea. Renowned American physicist, Gerard K. O'Neill, published a book in 1976 called The High Frontier Human Colonies in Space, which Bioware's art team has cited as an influence. The book included a proposal for the creation of an O'Neill cylinder, which would consist of two cylinders or wards that would have used artificial gravity and included organic plant life, much like the Citadel. Sadly, no one has ever attempted to actually create an O'Neill cylinder in the real world, but it has gone on to inspire a lot of great science fiction, like Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Interstellar, and of course, Mass Effect. But that isn't the only thing that helped inspire the look of the Citadel. According to The Art of Mass Effect, the cities of Dubai and Tokyo served as major influences when designing the interiors of the station. Everything from their bright, almost futuristic looking downtowns to the way both cities managed to house so many people with so little space had a big impact on the creation of the Citadel. Many fans of science fiction cannot help but point out some of the obvious similarities between the universe of Mass Effect and the one seen in the 90s cult classic Babylon 5 TV show. And in an episode focused on a space station, these similarities become even more obvious. Like the Citadel, Babylon 5 was a space station which served as a central hub for commerce and diplomacy for multiple species. The villain of Babylon 5, the Shadow, also has a ton in common with the Reapers. Both were long forgotten ancient threats who emerged to wreak havoc on civilization. And like the Reapers, the Shadow was one of the oldest known species in the Babylon 5 universe. That's not the only connection between the two franchises. The voice of Zaid Masani in Mass Effect 2, Robin Sachs, was a Babylon 5 casting favourite, playing not one, but three characters on the show probably the most well known of which is the alien Coplan, going to show that Bioware even kept Babylon 5 actors in mind when creating the series. Another fun piece of trivia can be found in the Silver Sun Strips Castle Arcade, where you'll come across a game called Shattered Easel. This is said to be a reference to Bioware's past work, specifically the DOS game Shattered Steel, a classic mech fighter. The game was actually Bioware's first and was published through Interplay in 1996. The inclusion of Shattered Ezo is a small nod to the powerhouse developer's humble roots. Now it's time for our comment showcase. First up we have a comment from Marcus Jurgens, who lets us know a fact that most of you probably are familiar with. That the Normandy shares its name with the Normandy region of France which is famous because of the US invasion of it, which was a major factor in the Allies defeating the Axis powers in World War II. But there's another World War II connection that you might not know as much about. There actually was a famous French vessel called the SS Normandy, and much like the Normandy of Mass Effect, it was a pretty impressive ship. In fact, when the ship was built in 1935, it was the largest and fastest passenger ship in the world. And crazy as it may seem, she is still the most powerful steam turbo electric propelled passenger ship in naval history. 
Eventually, the ship was renamed the Lafayette, but much like Shepard's first Normandy, the ship was eventually blown up, sadly capsizing after being set aflame in 1942. Next up is our shoddy showcase, which comes this week from the awesomely named Evil Jesus, who says, Fist me shoddy. Like, all of us? The whole team? How is that even going to work? Let us know as you get back to us on that. Or don't... Yeah. Finally, it is time for our trivia section. Last week we asked you what year Fallout 4's The Institute was founded, and I gotta say, I was surprised to stump a lot of you. The answer was actually C2110. This week we of course have a Mass Effect related question. Located near the Emporium in the Presidium is the Krogan Monument, a huge statue commissioned to commemorate the efforts of the Krogans during what wars? A. The Relay Wars B. The Rashni Wars C. The Hellmouth Wars or D. The First Contact Wars Tell me your answer down below in the comments section and if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit it a like and also subscribe for some more Hidden Histories and other shows that we have on the Shoddycast. And I'll see you guys next week.